Hey guys, I'm Yash. Uh, today I will show you how to use local notification on, on iPhone. Uh, the one which uh, comes as a badge uh, while you are outside the app. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Single view application. Name it local notification. And uh, do check the settings next save it wherever you want uh, we will uh, trigger the action on a press of a button so let's add a button to the storyboard button let's name it pop okay it will be horizontally and vertically in container uh, let's give it a fixed width of uh, 150 and height of uh, 35 and add items of new constraints so this will uh, make a button adapt to the new constraints so cool let's attach the button to the view controller so control drag here name it pop rest and it will be an action uh, and type UI button so connect so we are done with the storyboard so let's hop over to view controller close this get rid of this and this I don't like this and let's select iPhone 6 okay first uh, we will ask a user that uh, whether he wants the notification or not if you remember uh, some apps ask you whether you want to get notified or not so first let's uh, first we need to import user notifications yeah this is the important step now un user notification center and uh, this will be under view did load okay so dot current dot request authorization okay now this options is an array so let's create an array uh, we will use dot alert <laughs> spelling dot alert dot sound and dot badge okay and this completion handler is a uh, closure so press enter so yeah here is the closure it worked <laughs> now it's cool so uh, let's we don't have anything in code so let's get rid of this right now code goes here so let's uh, run it uh, we will get that okay addition placeholder in source Uh, uh, okay okay uh, we need to write bool and error here okay uh, let's run it again yeah this should work so it's loading now the app will ask for the permissions so yeah this one okay allow it now close this and now we will perform here so let first equal to un mutable notification content okay you can uh, create a many uh, type of this contents okay so that's why i named it first so first dot title will be first notification okay and the first dot subtitle will be hell yeah and first dot body um let's write anything hey i am here to notify you bam okay so 
and this is important step as well it will be first dot badge and it's a number I don't know it will be one so now we will set trigger time trigger equals to un time interval notification trigger this one open parentheses time interval will be time interval will be in seconds and it will be five seconds repeat no it's so it will be false so no repeat time and now we really need to pass in a request request equals to you and notification request here so open parentheses this will be identifier will be first to notify uh, content will be our first uh, this this thing the one which we created and trigger will be trigger okay trigger so easy peasy so now we are ready to deploy the notification un user notification center dot current dot add okay so request will be request re quest and uh, with completion handle handler will be nil so let's run the app we are ready to go hope it works haha <laughs> and uh, one more thing uh, just go to hardware and uh, check out the home uh, shortcut key for home right which is shift command h so once you press the pop you need to uh, go back to home so okay i am pressing the pop shift command h so okay here's the notification you can pull it down you will get options here um, options for the next time anyways thank you guys keep watching